Okay, so for my politician, I had Elliot Abrams, and he's a Penn State graduate, and he said he graduated in the late 1960s, but his everyday job that he does is he's actually a meteorologist for AccuWeather, and that's what he does on an everyday basis, which he has earned the title of the wittiest weatherman. But um, for the last 26 years, he's served on the Council of Government, and he's on the Executive Committee um, for Patton County. And even though he's, like, he serves for Patton County, he's part of a group that is a much bigger group that has, like, all of the surrounding areas of State College. And um, it's about 80, he says around from 80,000 to 100,000 people that it accounts for. He said that it gets difficult um, keeping track of everybody because of the students that can can be counted as citizens. And what I thought was interesting that you can be, you're counted as a citizen if you're registered to vote in this area. Um, which I'll come back to later, but, um, when I asked what his job entailed, he pretty much said that they're in charge of a lot of the things that go on that are public, um, like the fire department, public pools, the catabus system, they're kind of in charge of that, and they try to keep everything running as smoothly as possible, but as cheap as they can, not, without them sacrificing, doing what they need to do, um, he said that it's really, really obvious that he that media plays a role in what he does. Um, most of their the meetings they hold um, as the executive committee are actually all televised. He said all the meetings are open, so anybody can come, and they are televised, and it's on CNET. And he said <laughs> he made an interesting comment that he said that some people will come up to him and said like, "Hey, like I saw you on CNET last night," and he said his first response is get a life. He said, I don't know why anybody would ever want to watch that, because it's boring. Which I thought was interesting, because it's like, these, you're part of these people's government. Like, they should know, want to know what you're doing. But at the same time, he did say it's very, um, he thought it was that the media is at these meetings was a very positive thing and a very good thing for the fact that people need to, if they want to know what they, their government is doing, they should have easy access to it. And he said that this is like, one of the easiest ways they can access what their government's, like, their local, it was based off a of local government, but it's one of the easiest ways to see what the local government's actually doing, and he said that's how it should be. Um, he did make an interesting comment that I thought, um, he said that when it comes to, like, what they're doing, he thinks that media does play a good part because people can see it, but he said that if you could encourage for my message to get out to everybody else, if he could encourage um, the students to do more of getting involved. He said that sometimes he believes that the students are kind of, um, he used the word bash, and I was kind of confused by what he meant, but he said that pe the students kind of get a bad side from like the business community, and he said that he doesn't know if they can always, that the business community isn't doing everything in the students' best interest. And... Um, he said that he would want more students to come to these town meetings, the meetings they held at the townships, and just express their opinion. He said that he doesn't think there's enough students that will, if there are any, that actually do that. And he said that the meetings are set up where they're completely public, and the very first thing when the meetings adjourns and starts is they ask for comments, and it can be anything. And what I asked is that would someone like me, who's from out of state that's not from around here, would that matter? And he said, as long as you're a, um, registered to vote here, then you're a citizen. And he said that he would really like to have people come there and express their opinions because they're there to help. And he said he doesn't think that enough people know that they're there to help. And that's one way for to get your message directly to these public officials. Um, when he talked about, like, he was talking about, like, certain news sources um, or media outlets, and he said, though the... The government board he serves on doesn't use uh, Facebook or Twitter. Um, they do have, like, a government, like, official government site. But um, he did say that for his AccuWeather um, and his meteorologist stuff, he does have a Twitter and a Facebook that he uses. So that was, like, the role of social media. And um, he was talking about the Center Daily Times, and he said that the coverage that they've seen to the beginning at these town meetings has dropped in the last few years and that Center Daily Time isn't doing as good as a job as they used to. And, but he also said he honestly can't blame them and that he commends them for the work because we all know that newspapers aren't the most 
profitable um, income business right now and the, not the easiest way to get news out. And he said that they're still sticking with them and still coming to um, most of the town meetings is still very positive. And um, told me a story that he was recently talking to someone about the newest Batman. And um, they said that like how everybody loved the new Batman and how it was great, but something struck someone. One of the kids he was talking to that had seen it said, yeah, it was really cool, but like the only thing that was kind of like unbelievable is that it's about these like really successful people that work at a newspaper, like the, a newspaper production company. And he said he thought that they thought that was weird. And he said that's like when kids are picking up on that, like you can obviously see the effects in media and everyday life that it's like everybody's noticing that these media outlets, print media outlets, are going. They're slowly dwindling away. So I thought that was interesting. 